Deputy President William Ruto says more cancer centers will be put up in the country to contain the cancer scourge before it gets out of hand. Ruto spoke at Bomet Governor Dr. Joyce Laboso's memorial service. Laboso has been hailed as an astute leader who was also a true friend. Sam Gituku attended the memorial service at the All Saints Cathedral and filed this report. Another funeral service in honor of a fallen leader at the same church in 30 days. This time round, not a corporate leader like Bob Colimo was, but a county chief executive officer who succumbed to a condition that first hit her in 1991. Mona's here to celebrate a life that they had hoped would not be lost so soon. When I spoke with Edwin, we, the reasoning was, so we are bringing Joyce home so that what can happen? You know, have we said it's over? So we decided, let's give it one more shot. At the point of going to India, it seemed we talked with. He said, no, 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 you can't come back to Kenya. You know, no, we can't give up. And even though Laboso battled cancer for 28 years, not many were aware. Her husband revealing how she kept it away from the public. There was a run in, uh, in Bomet. And the Jews was sick by then, on this now second attack. And she was actually struggling. She ran a bit, she would walk, get into the car. We live in a place she ran so that the cameras can pick her. We had to take her to a hotel to actually rest completely. When we had the deputy president had arrived, the chopper was landing. She quickly got up, cleaned her face and ran and received the deputy president and did everything and nobody knew what was taking place. But now you need to rest. You're in a better place. So many people love you and cherish you, Mama. Even though we are all devastated that you've left us, we will continue to count our blessings. To those who called her a friend, she was nothing but honest. To her colleague politicians, she had cracked the glass ceiling to be one of the three pioneer female governors. Every time Joyce and I went out for a drink, we always, always faced the wall for fear that a man would speak to us and our husbands would get angry and divorce us. With her infectious laughter, she would disarm even the most difficult opponent. Even when Joyce was there aggrieved, she would be the one to call good sense and reason to the actions that some of us were plotting to take. Joyce told me, you know, I think this thing of you men imagining that you are just giving us on a silver platter must come to an end. And guess what? I have also decided that I am going to run for the position of governor of Bomet. She had also managed to bring down the wage bill and she also reduced the pending bills in Bomet County. The cancer scourge now a bother, the deputy president indicating that efforts are underway to ensure early diagnosis and accessible yet affordable treatment. I leave it to those who are in leadership today to do something about this cancer. It chooses the best amongst us and we can't keep on mourning because we know we can do something. In terms of more centers for chemotherapy, more centers for radiotherapy and a bigger program to campaign so that citizens and the people of Kenya can understand how to better manage our health issues. Though devastated by the loss of their mother, wife, friend and colleague, Mona's here remember a true friend who was forthright, humble, yet successful in her career, both politically and otherwise. Her final journey ends on Saturday in Kisumu County. Sam Gitukuswezi TV at the All Saints Cathedral in Nairobi.